Those of you who watch my channel regularly know that I'm in a uh, move to move my channel from uh, just a YouTube channel to a YouTube network. I want Best of Us Investors to be a source for young people who have uh, investment ideas, who have knowledge, who have enthusiasm, who want to broaden their reach. Uh, I want to present them a channel that they can, or a network that they can participate in. And one of the people who has stepped up and said, I want to do that is my son, Trent. Trent works with me in kind of the back room of b building this business and helping me uh, create my vision of a channel that uh, offers people anything and everything uh, finance. So uh, he came to me with this uh, video about Echo Labs. It's a water company, and I got particularly interested in it because of what's happened recently in uh, Jacksonville, Mississippi, and then it happened in uh, up on uh, Michigan uh, last year or two years ago, where the water works, the water treatment centers, um, and the water supply channels of various cities are going bad because the cities are not maintaining them, particularly cities that are transitioning. Uh, they they let their, their water go. I've also recognized that water is the only utility that I receive that is not um, governed by a publicly traded company. Instead, it's by voted people that uh, don't really know what they're doing, and there's a lot of graft involved. So uh, I was interested when Trent brought this uh, video to me, and so let's take a look at it, and then I want to follow up and see if you can help me make a decision, is this a, a good direction to go? Conventional wisdom tells you that you should be investing in technology stocks. Conventional wisdom tells you today that old stodgy companies that make, well, basic things that we use, like a, a Dollar General or a Walmart or a Johnson & Johnson, is really not the place to be. But I've started to think a lot about the evolution we've been on over the last 22 years. In that last 22 years of technology, technology, technology has greatly changed our world. And it's also affected the old stodgy type of investments. One of the greatest things that we have to have is food, water, and shelter. Yet, oftentimes, this is not the headline item. This is not the thing that most people focus on. But recently, if you've been paying any attention, water is becoming very, in a way, scarce. Okay, check this out. Right there. See it? That's technology. That's something that we didn't do 100 years ago or something like that, 200 years ago. But technology has evolved. Well, the world's basic need of water needs is really focused on 3% of the water that covers our Earth. 2.5% of that water is locked up in soil, the atmosphere, glaciers, polar ice caps. So two and a half percent is not available to you and I. When here recently, we have seen the Western United States continue to be in a 22 year drought. The Colorado River is below 30% of its overall capacity. Lake Mead, Lake Powell has become a, a, a basically becoming a desert a toilet bowl ring of, uh, of, of study. And what we're seeing now is a desire and need for technology to reuse, regather water in a sense so that we can survive. Because after three days of you not having a drop of liquid in your body, you die. And the world is starting to feel that. Now, China, over the last close to 100 days, 
has been in a serious drought and that drought has affected its overall ability to generate power because they use hydropower which is power that's generated from the movement of water well if you don't have any water you don't have any power and that is starting to affect major corporations who manufacture an enormous amount of their goods in China. So you go then to Europe and they're experiencing that in Scandinavia where they've converted a lot of their energy production to hydropower. The water is drying up, the Rhine is drying up. So the ability to transport water, goods like coal and, and, and products and stuff is starting to get limited because there's not enough water to move a barge through it. And that's why I'm interested in companies that address the water issue. One of those other people who is doing the same, not often, not really liked, often a lot of conspiracy behind him, is Bill Gates. And recently he has, over time, become the uh, over 10% holder of Echo Lab, which is a company that addresses um, cleanliness, uh, the purification of uh, bacteria and stuff in all different industries, but recently has taken a big position in water treatment and getting water from those areas that I spoke about earlier. Echolab is one of those companies that is fairly priced. Uh, it maybe could be a little less, but it's one of those that I believe the future thinkers are looking at and saying, if we don't have water, if we don't have uh, the cleanliness that we need to survive, then we're all going to die. That's why I'm checking out Echolab. E-C-L. Peace. Live loud. The first direction I always go is Seeking Alpha. This is my uh, Seeking Alpha page on um, Echo Labs, and you might notice it's a little different. What I did is, and I had never noticed this before, rather than use the basic screen, I went to the advanced, and it gives me, I think, a broader picture. What I'm showing here is year to date. I can go to all, and you'll see that this is a company that has quite a history um if it's going to there there we go goes all the way back to 1973 and you can see it 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 started uh taking off in 09 and then has has gotten up as high as uh 234 dollars a share and now it's down to uh 156 and i i looked at it and um uh, as if you come down here and in um, Seeking Alpha, you can get a very good description of what the company does and build your knowledge on it. And what it basically tells me is it's in the water business. It's in both um, global and institutional special uh, water sciences, and it's in uh, healthcare. And so it's a very broad company. What caught my eye, though, was what Trent also uh, we'll mention in the are mentioned in the video is uh, why Bill Gates loves Echo Labs, and it goes in and talks a little bit about Bill Gates and his his interest in this company and a continuing interest. And I and I was kind of thrown back when I said um, op where it shows open market uh, insider buys, and they're all Bill Gates. And I want you to look at the the amounts that he buys. Um, it, you know, it, it at 175, he's buying 6,400 shares. Here, here he buys 129,000 shares, and that represents, if I'm reading this right, uh, 22 million dollars. So Bill, Bill's a big player when he plays. Um, so I, I want to bring this to your attention. If you don't have Seeking Alpha, I don't see how you can be in in the stock market. So that you can, uh, you you need to be able to to gather information and get other people's opinions to, in order to make um, some, some good investment decisions. And uh, it, it breaks things down um, very explicitly as to how the company is making money, how their earnings per share are hitting or missing objectives. And you can see um, its revenues are growing. Um, it's, it's pretty well hits its targets on earnings. 
Uh, down here we can see it's got a market cap of about 45 billion. Another thing I like to look at is is who owns the company and what is the short has very little short interest. Um, and it's um, here you can see it's basically a, an institution owned company with 77 percent. Uh, and then you have it says state and owned shares and uh, pensions and uh, VC firms. So it, it's, it's basically institutions that are buying it. It's not a, um, a retail traded. And so I want you to become, first, first of all, familiar with Echo Labs, and secondly, um, familiar with um, Seeking Alpha. And I have a relationship with Seeking Alpha. They are one of the sponsors of my channel, and they'll offer you a discount um, for using their services. So that's Echo Labs. That's the direction I want to take my uh, YouTube network. I'm going to be introducing you to a number of people. We're going to be talking about options. We're going to be talking about investing in real estate. Uh, we may even get somebody to talk about investing in wine and liquor. Uh, that's where I want to take this channel. I want it to be everything you need. And then I want to help young people expand their uh, social media activity and uh, sharing their knowledge and experiences with you. So that's uh, where I'm going. I hope you come along with me.